Hello Collective. Please angels guide us with a clear concise message today for the collective. One that will help. Thank you, please. Thank you. Leo. Aries. Sag. All fire signs. <laughs> I'm just going to do all fire signs and do it like that since it pulled out. Then I'll do earth, water, and yada, yada, yada. What's one for Leo? Ooh, book of knowledge. You're shining with all your knowledge, Leo. Aries. Aries, you need to take action and have foresight about yourself. See the tree of knowledge? That's what I think it is. <coughs> you got foresight. Sagittarius, expand. Sagittarius, expand, dice, gamble. You know, Sagittarius is our lucky. Everybody knows that. Uh, so you need to take a take a gamble on yourself, okay? That's what it's saying, Sagittarius. What about Leo? You need to wake up, Leo. Uh, you need to go inside and clear out all the negative energy from past hurts or trauma bonding. To shine, you need to wake up. Make no trauma bonding, okay? So your knowledge can shine through. Aries, act, peace. They take action to gain some foresight on this situation. And you have a friendships with animals. You can communication with nature spirits. You need to go out in nature today. This will help you gain clarity, Aries. What about Sagittarius? What about Sagittarius? Networker. This enhances unity to the sharing of information and gender social awareness and empathy. You took a gamble to, uh, to, to try to make people aware of things that maybe you did and maybe you're trying to get empathy for somebody at the moment, Sagittarius or something. Oh gosh, I don't know why I'm so sleepy today, y'all. I'm so tired. All right, for Leo. I'm just going to do this and I'm going to go back to sleep. You're healing the earth. Love, humility, respect. You show love your, and your humility to all of the world around. You respect others and spirit loves you for that. You're, you're, you're waking up others and, and telling them to stop always thinking negative and negative self-talking their self. They need to love their self. That's why you're shining, Leo. You got a, my Lord knows, Leo 420. Aries. Uh, child nature, this is for you, Aries. You got the gift. This is in the present honoring and offering you're offering up your spirit to uh to others at the moment maybe in the present in the present that's what you're needing to do and hang on what, what about for uh Sagittarius we got temple of dreams this is sacred dreams you're having maybe Someone's teaching you about prophecies, and you you had a prophecy. It's about dream journeys. 
So maybe you're trying to to uh, show empathy to someone that you used to uh, network with. Um, maybe you're trying to come to them in your dreams. You're taking a gamble to do that. That's what it said. Give me one of these for Leo. Thank you very much. Without the fire prince, optimism and aggression, number 40. So maybe, so maybe you're 40, Leo, or you know somebody that's 40 that's a Leo, and you're very optimistic at the moment, but you got to get, uh, you got to turn that aggression energy into, uh, loving yourself energy and shining to help heal earth. Are you listening? How about Aries? Spirit, what about Aries? What about Aries? The Desert Prince. This is about survival. False promises, number 19. <clears throat> Maybe you give someone a false promise and they've been honoring you and uh, they gain foresight. Or you need to, Aries, that you need to uh, go out and communicate with nature spirits at the moment. Uh, see that big line right there behind him? So, your gift comes from being a desert prince. And, uh, Leo, you're healing Earth with your fiery, passionate energy and being optimistic and Sagittarius. Not Sagittarius. That's both fire. That was wand and fire. So this is for fire signs. <laughs> A little more fire. <laughs> oh, the Shadow Queen. Acquiring knowledge in security manipulation. So maybe there's someone around you, Sagittarius, and they're manipulating you with their insecurities. And they're acquiring knowledge about you. It's somebody that wants to work with you. Uh... Or you're doing this to somebody, Sagittarius. You're acquiring knowledge and you're insecure and you're trying to manipulate this person. You're trying to manipulate. Somebody's trying to manip manipulate this person in their dreams. Maybe this is somebody you used to work with and they're trying to do it to you. That's the way I see it right there. That's the way I see it, you guys. Collective, please and thank you. What's up for Leo? What's up for Leo? Spring and Chaser. So your love is blooming, your answers arrive in the spring and chaser. This you know, runner chaser dynamic in pursuit. Convincing rejection, let them go and let it be. So I think what it's saying is you let them go and you let it be, but in the springtime, they're coming back to ye. <laughs> 909 in the springtime, they're coming back to ye. Answers is arriving about this uh, twin flame dynamic in the spring. What about for Aries? Ooh. Loss and perception. This is about loss of self and your identity, discovering your true self again. Perception, red flags, delusion, perspective. See through your own false beliefs. So you're going to have to uh, see your own through your own false beliefs. you got to find your true self again, Aries, and, and stop giving someone false promises of and live in the moment and be appreciative of your gifts. Change, for, change your perception and your foresight. That's what it's saying. Sagittarius, Denial, and what's another one for Sagittarius? 
whoever Sagittarius is, they're 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 acquiring knowledge on you, but they're insecure. They're in denial. They repress their emotions for you. You maybe you rejected this person. They're unable to see below the surface at the moment. They need to forgive. It's about tranquility, peaceful mind and heart, freedom from the past. So you need to uh, forgive that this person rejected you uh, and stop trying to manipulate the situation, okay? That's what that's saying. Somebody, you or the own Sagittarius, whoever it is, I don't know, but that's what it said. But what about Aries? I mean, Leo, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody loving, stable, caring, wealthy in the physical and spiritual. So, uh, in the springtime, somebody going to come to you because they put it in the vine's hands. Are you listening? Oh, and then it says uh, it's going to come with unstoppable effort. Seven of Swords. So, um, can we have one more? The High Priestess. So, you saw through. You you understood, Leo, that there's an earth sign woman that was trying to steal from you. And all of your knowledge and all of your love and all of your knowledge. And they didn't want you to shine, but they didn't understand that you have high priestess in you. I love that spirit. That's true. And for Aries. Ooh, Aries. The Hierophant and love. Marriage. Somebody wants to marry you. They see you as the only one. Look there. So this has to do about a marriage. You... Maybe you lost a marriage or a somebody that you cared really deeply about. And maybe you feel like they gave you a false promise. But you was needing to find, you, you lost yourself in someone else. Not in this person, it was in somebody else. And you're trying to find your true identity again. And uh, that's why it's feeling like survival mode at the moment. Because it was, you know, it was built on false promises. You had to see through your own beliefs. You had to change your perspective on this. So you change your perspective of you want marriage with that person. Look, Ace of Cups. That's giant love. That's that's from the divine. That you ha you you have love ever flowing with this new person. You better change your mind about it, Aries. Uh, what about Sagittarius? That's in denial of being rejected and they need to forgive this person. Happy family that came a lot. It come a lot that that this person wants they want you to forgive them. They want to have a happy home life with you. They see your all connection as happy wish fulfillment like your all's dreams will come true but they've been feeling rejected see they've been rejecting this love this ten of cups love so you gotta forgive and stop hanging on to that okay so way it's saying right in a line it's saying uh it's Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Man or woman was uh, going to sneak off. And you saw through this shit. They was going to sneak off and act like they didn't do nothing. And you saw through this. and you Because you can see through the veil. You, you, you can walk, but you know what's going on. And, and it could be in a spiritual community or in this marriage or relationship. There's a lot of love. You saw through it that this is a Ten of Cups family. It, you all have a lot of success. So quit feeling bored and apathy and rejected. That's what it's saying, okay, collective? That's what it said now, collective. Can we have one of these, Spirit, for Leo? 
one for Leo. Spit it out. Leo, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And it, it's cautioning you because somebody's trying to steal from you, man or woman, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, Aries. You need to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. See, you're all going to go get married and you're all just going to disconnect from everybody and give each other giant love and Sagittarius. Sagittarius. This could also say your, fam uh, your son and your family is feeling like rejected. That can also say that right there. But look, Sagittarius, this is your true love. This is this is the romance of a lifetime, so stop doubting your love. Stop doubting your love. That's what it says. Take a gamble on this true love and be playful with each other and have a lot of passion and go on your damn honeymoon, okay? That's what it said. All right, I love you guys. You far sign collective. I hope this helps you today. Let me give you one more of these. One of my little love messages. Oh, someone's feeling fat and happy and grateful. Someone's feeling fat and happy and grateful like a big old fat cat. Have affection for yourself so you don't crave that kind of attention. That's that's what this cat come out to tell you. Pay attention to red flags. Be grateful. And your face looks younger than people in their 20s, Divine Feminine. That's what somebody wanted to tell you, Leo. And yes, we can go out and just talk a little bit more. That's what this says over here. Aries, yes, yes, we can. This emotional bond is strong. They miss you so much, it feels like they can't stand being without you. They want to talk to you. Step out of your comfort zone. You created and don't look back. Be a leader. Better listen to that, Aries. Be a damn leader. The time's now. To a treat with the one you love. Someone's scared of this new change that's needed. Maybe they're scared of being married, this Sagittarius. And they are fire signs, a lot of them. They feel love for you. You all have to heal an issue that needs resolved. you got to heal an issue. And, you know, that could be one of y'all cheated or whatever it is. There's some kind of issue that needs resolved. And bring your skeleton key on over and see if it fits to my heart. That's, that's poems. These are all poems I wrote. That's what somebody said. Uh, you got me yearning for your love for real. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope this helps one of you all fire signs out here. If y'all have a fire sign, I hope this gives y'all a little bit of clarity. And I love you guys, and I'm going to get off here. 1818. And, ooh, new beginnings of abundance is coming towards us. Oh, wow, ain't that something? Just, just be grateful for yourself and love yourself. Give yourself the attention that it needs. Step out of your comfort zone. Yes, you can talk a little bit more. Uh, and don't be scared of this new change. They feel love for you. You got the key to their heart. Uh... They're yearning for your real love. <laughs> well, I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. If I helped anybody today, leave me a comment. Leave me a comment, you guys, because that's how my channel gets back around and starts growing. I mean, yeah, it's grown two or three here, but, you know, it's been stuck like this for two months, you all. And, and I told you how it was. And I'm not going to argue about it anymore. I don't even care. It'll happen one day. And I love you guys. Peace.